Hey guys, so today we're going to teach you how to do a two-handed square knot in seven minutes or less. So the first thing you want to do is get your starting position right. So again, this is your starting position. So you want to hold the strings with these three fingers, right? And But for your starting position, you don't want to start like this. This is wrong. You want to cross your strings and then make sure your left hand is holding the left string, uh, the string on the left side, closer to your body. And so the string on your right side should be further away from your body. So again, just to show you the starting position again, you're not starting like this. You're crossing the strings, and then the string in your left hand is closer to your body, and the string in your right hand is further away from your body. Okay? So this is your starting position. You always want to start like this. All right, so now that we have that down, let's actually talk about putting uh, or making a square knot. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make a loop uh, with either your thumb, excuse me, with either your index finger or your thumb, right? And it's going to be one of these. Um, so for the first throw or the first loop that you're going to make, you're going to use your index finger. And for the second one, you're going to use your thumb. And you're going to keep on alternating between your index finger and your thumb for each new throw. So again, first throw, index finger, second throw, thumb, third throw, index finger, fourth throw, thumb. And you just keep on repeating it like that. All right? All right, so I'm going to go and start. So uh, a good thing to kind of, uh, you know, remind you of what we're trying to do is you can think to yourself, loop, connect, push, pull. And that'll make a lot more sense as we go on, right? So again, because this is the first throw, you want to take your index finger and then loop it underneath the string in your right side like so and so you can see right here you have half of a loop and now you, uh, you want to take the string in your left hand and to complete that loop over your index finger like this and so you can see here here's the loop that we just made and so it's a loop over your index finger and if you look up here the strings are parallel and there's nothing really special up here and now the second step is connect. So connect your index finger and your thumb. And the third step is to push. So push your thumb through the loop that we just made, like so. Then take your, the string in your left hand and then put it in between your thumb and index finger and then pull that string end um, back through that loop. And so you see you have, you have a little knot and you can just go ahead and put that knot down like that. All right, so just to repeat that for you, make sure your starting position is right, loop, like so, connect, push, and pull. All right, and so that's pretty much it. And essentially, you're just doing that over and over again. For each throw, that's the basis of what you're, of what you're doing for each new throw. All right, so we talked about the first throw. Now we're, we're gonna begin the second throw. And there's two differences in the second throw from the first throw. The first is that instead of using your index finger, you're using your thumb. And the second is that you'll have to cross your hands for the second throw, and I'll show you that as we get there, all right? Okay, so second throw, starting. Take your thumb, loop it underneath the string in your right hand, and then loop the string in your left hand over your thumb like this and I'm making kind of exaggerated motion just to make sure you have a good angle and so you can see that loop again here the loop over your thumb and then if you look at the, uh, the angle above your thumb nothing special just parallel strings all right and now like previously connect your thumb and your index finger now push your index finger through the loop that you just made like this. Place the string in your left hand between your thumb and index finger and then pull it back through the loop. Alright, now stop here for a second. So see here, you have that knot that you want, but notice that you have a cross right here. And in order to get rid of that cross, what you have to do is cross your hands. And so I'm going to do that for you right now. So just cross your hands. And so this, that looks like uh, the last loop. Now there's, uh, there's the knot, there's a knot, and then there's nothing in between. And so we can just go ahead and put that knot down. Okay. So I'm going to take a brief second just to show you what a good square knot looks like. So this is a square knot. And you can see the two strings 
here, you can, so both of them come out together, right, right here. And then notice that the two strings here, both of these strings go in together, right here. And so that is an example of a good square knot. Okay, all right. So let's, I'm just gonna do that over again. So remember, good starting position, loop, connect, push, pull. And then for your second throw, it's with your thumb, loop, connect, push, pull. Okay. All right, so now we finished two throws. For your third throw, you're back to using your index finger. So you want to loop underneath with your index finger, Make, finish the loop with the string in your left hand. And again, that's the loop. Connect, push your thumb through the loop, and then take the string in and then pull it back through the loop. And then you can just put that down. So that's the third throw. And then we're going to do the fourth throw, um, which is, again, you want to alternate between your thumb and index finger. And so now you're using your thumb. So loop, push, and pull. And then you have to cross your hands. All right. Uh, and so that's really it. Um, and so the three take home points um, that you want to remember. Um, the first thing, make sure your starting position is right. So your starting position, the string in your left hand should be closer to your body and the string in your right hand should be further away from your body. Second takeaway point is that um, you're, crossing the f you're crossing your hands every other throw. And at the third, last and final point is that you're alternating between your index finger and your thumb between each throw. Okay, all right, that's it.